Hey guys. So today I'm gonna show you how to install a <clears throat> mainline kernel because right now Linus Torvalds just released the Linux 6 uh, RC7 and I'm gonna show you how to install this on your gentle Linux and in order to do that you have this um, package called git sources and just one thing before you start installing this is I do believe that when you need to install this you need to add this to your accept keywords the AMD 64 but on my case I have a I have it set it globally um, let me just show you etc portage make.com so I have a accepted keywords at AMD 64 or this is the um, what do you call that like updated or bleeding edge so if you didn't set this you can still install however you need to you need to set it to, to accept it on your accept keywords and that's in the um, what do you call let me just change the here on this um, etc pack accept keywords and I believe I have it here the accepted so so you need to add here a the name of the git sources that's the syskernel git sources so syskernel git sources sources and then you need to add this to your package accept keywords now I'm not gonna do that because I'm I'm already it's already accepted on my uh, global okay so now once you have done that one then you can of course just install the git sources so merge AV git sources and then just one thing before this sim link yeah, you should not add this because this will automatically create a sim link to your directory for your Linux this this on the on this directory because if you go to this global use flags right click and then you can read here about the sim link this is the force kernel able to automatically update and it, it, i would suggest not to do that because then whenever you need an upgrade or whenever you get an upgrade on your gen 2 um, sources or any of the sources from your previous kernel then it will just automatically update this folder so let me just emerge this and then depending on depending on your system of course it may take some time but uh, let's just wait a bit oh if not i'm just gonna pause the video okay it's back now it's on it's added also to my word favorites files you will see here some messages and yeah i mean i just ignore that one but it's better if you read it so once you have completed installing the git sources if you go into your uh, e-select is 
you select clipboard no uh, kernel list you will see here that this asterisk is now on this previous one because I didn't create the sim link so we need to create a sim link going to this one and we need to set it and by doing that uh, kernel set 3 so if we go back again now it's now pointing to this um, to this kernel that just downloaded just a couple of things before I mentioned that one so if you go to the website it's actually it tells you here to change the kernel sources so you, after you choose after you install then change that one uh, for this I'm not actually following entirely this uh, this page or this wiki but it's it's uh, it's there for some doubts if you want it if you need to clarify some doubt so once it's already um, uh, selected then I need to change to the uh, Linux directory and before you uh, create I would suggest you make a backup of the config file so I have it here I have a folder called kernel configs uh, so if we change to this directory for example so I have a lot here in this folder because I've been playing around with the kernels uh, this is not right because now it's created to ah no this 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 right because I have played around with the RC six last week. So after there's no oh, let me just close this. Cannot stop no blah 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 blah. Uh, let me just put one here. Ah, never mind. <laughs> Well, how come? Ah, because now I created a. There's no dot config anymore. Hmm. However, if you have not done any depth clean yet, it should be actually on your boot directory. Uh, see here, there's a config files in here. You can just copy this make a backup I would suggest that because then if you need to um, go back or you need to copy it so on and so forth let me just go back to that one so before you uh, compile you need to uh, for compiling of course you need to it's written in here it's better to have the make old config because for the old config it's actually telling you or it's if you use the old config um, it's if there is a new uh, following see here if this for example if you made this make old config then it will pop up with if there are new modules on the new kernels because if you only carry out the make old dev config then it will just set to the new uh, recommended values without informing you so I would highly suggest to use the make old config um, it's not gonna do that yet make old config see here if you notice in here it's just force user context now you can you can um, just answer yes or no here I'm not gonna go one by one here because depending on your system of course it depending on the messages so I would highly suggest you 
if you're not sure then just um, had a quick Google regarding this so offload by default because offload I see by the boot so for this I'm just gonna accept the default user space black driver okay I'm just gonna set it as a module module if if module is available okay, I'm just gonna set it as module module intel meter lake no i'm not gonna have that one because i don't have any intel um cpu i have an amd cpu sensor support okay yes a module module force lookup control element I'm just setting the fold here no uh, no uh, I'm just gonna accept the default here <laughs> and after that one then you can invoke the uh, make a new config if you want to tweak more so now you are on this kernel setup so I'm not, uh, one thing I always do is just change the local version because this is I this is where I know that um, which one is which because I always play around with kernel nowadays and of course the one downside is one downside is I cannot choose because it's not patch but I'm just gonna save this for the benefit of this video and then once you have saved and uh, tweak it then you can invoke the uh, make this j32 is depending on your processor so if you have a four core processor then this should be uh, j4 j4 or j6 it depending on that so sudo make j32 for me because i have a 32 threads not cores 16 cores 32 threads sudo make and sudo make um, modules install and sudo sudo make install after that it will compile and then after i'm just gonna post the video and i'll come back after it's compiled okay i'm back so it's installed automatically on boot and i could see here that it's only less than three minutes that is done now one thing that I'm doing is to generate a initram fs. If you go to the wiki again with the kernel upgrade, um, nothing mentioned here about the initram fs. And there's a lot of ways to generate an initram fs. Um, most of the guys probably using the dracut. I'm not. I'm not really. Uh, I'm not really using the dracut. I'm using the gen kernel to generate the initram fs. So to do that, to do uh, gen kernel initram fs, and this will create a a. Oh, there's no modules copied. <laughs> okay, interesting. So find it here the uh, initram fs. So let me check that one. So it's actually here. Ah, no, sorry. Here. No, nah, no, nah, here. <laughs> okay. And after that one, then you need to upgrade, update your bootloader. 
uh, I'm using a um, GRUB so and after that of course if it's already it's already generated it's already there so just gonna show you which I'm using right now is so I'm using D5911 at the moment so I'm gonna reboot I'm gonna stop the video and I will come back to show you all right so I'm back I just put in the terminal here so you name R so it's on now I am on this kernel okay so I'm now on this RC7 kernel I'm gonna do a testing and I'm just gonna use this for now so I hope this video helps you if you have other ways how to upgrade or how do you upgrade your kernel then make sure to leave a comment if there are some easier ways or I'm d doing it wrong please um, leave a comment as well so if you like the video you can please like if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and share the video. Oh, have a good day. Until next time. Bye.